nicotine may be the addictive product, but other cigarette components that accompany it are actually more lethal. So what's inside a U.S. blended cigarette? Tobaccos, flu-cured, burly, and oriental, only make up about half the cigarette. The rest is known as add-ons. One add-on, reconstituted tobacco, is made from a mixture of stripped stems, oval, or tobacco dust, swept from the factory floor, and reclaim, cigarettes that have passed their prime and have been sent back to the factory. It all goes into a giant vat. It's beat up. And as it's being beat up, it's constantly extract, like a tea bag. Well, that means I removed all the, the chemicals, all the solubles, and then it's pooled into another vat. And this is a chemical reaction vat. The resulting solution is known as the mother liquor. So you have this mother liquor, which is an aqueous-based system, water-based system, in which now I can add a host of chemicals, diammonium phosphate, urea, ammonium hydroxide. And these, are, these additives in the recon are used to deal with nicotine manipulation. The others are thought to use as ameliorants. If you tried to smoke a cigarette without additives, it would be very harsh. How do I mellow that harshness out? How do I smooth it? Chocolate, butter fat, glycerol. Sounds a little like, like things I buy in the grocery store, isn't it? Or foodstuffs. Well, they're actually added. Once chemically reacted, the mother liquor solution is applied to paper made from the ground stems, offal, and reclaim. This paper is dried and shredded and is known as reconstituted tobacco, or recon. It will make up 30% of the cigarette's contents. When it's smoked, the ammonia in the recon will enhance the absorption of nicotine in the smoker's body. And nicotine as it exists in the plant is sort of like a, a molecule with a ball and chain on it. And I want to free this molecule up by taking that ball and chain off and now we start changing its shape, we call freebase nicotine. Freebasing nicotine is much the same as freebasing cocaine. Increases potency, increases delivery. Expanded tobacco, a puff tobacco product that has been expanded with carbon dioxide, is also part of the blend to act as a filler. So, in a finished cigarette, 20% is expanded tobacco, stems, and reclaim, tobacco from returned cigarettes, and 30% is recon. The other 50% is tobacco, which is also treated with sugars that mask the bitter taste of nicotine and enhance its absorption into a smoker's body. Tobacco, stems, reconstituted, reclaim, and expanded tobacco are mixed in a bulking bin the size of a bus. It's all cut to 28th of an inch slices, called rag, and pneumatically moved to the cigarette fabrication side of the plant. There, the rag will be rolled in paper, glued, joined with filters made from cellulose acetate, and packaged. This process occurs at a rate of roughly 20,000 cigarettes per minute, sometimes 24 hours a day. Long before Ophel, Casings, and Recon, cigarettes had humble origins. 